hello guys so in this video we are going to see how to make a tower that is a skyscraper and it's named as can towers in rhino 3d so let's go into the video before going into the video if you didn't subscribe please subscribe because every subscribe give us support to make more videos so i'm using ellipse command i'm just typing ellipse in command round i'm giving an ellipse and 0 comma 0 that is the start point from the center and an end point with an approximate value i'm just using gumball to take a copy and move it uh, up by using gumball then i'm rotating and slide i'm just scaling it with the help of gumball or else you can use scale 1d command so now i need a copy oh shit no uh no, i need the bottom copy not the re-editor so i just need this copy and i'm just placing it i'm just copying by using alt pressing alt and dragging the gumball so it will make you a copy so now i'm using the scale one day and i'm just rotating with the help of gumball gumball is nothing but the tricolor so now i got the element like this so now i need to create a frame with the command called loft so loft will create you a a, a skin for this uh, shape so I'm using loft so so it's asking so I got the loft so I'm just changing the setting so that I can see the surface which I created so the surface has been created yeah this is the surface which I need so I use loft to create the surface and the loft direction should be while lofting please check with the direction that is the seam position the arrow so now I'm using line command and drawing a line so the line has been drawn so now I'm just changing the mode by double tapping the tab and I'm coming to the right and copying it up. So it will give you a clear copy when you do this procedure in the right tab. So, the, so I need a n number of copies. So I'm using linear array. So I'm just taking the command from here and just selecting the line. And now it's asking the n number of number of copies. So I am just giving 40. So it's asking for start and end. Now I did with the copy. So the lines which which are created above the model is not required because I am going to project the line to the model to create as a to create the facade. So those lines are seriously not needed. So I am just selecting the lines. So I am going to use the project command. But the thing is you can't you can't use this command in the perspective because you're going to project in this direction so the c plane should be you are projecting to the c plane right so the grid is called the c plane so you should do this projection in the front command not in the perspective okay you can see it in the perspective but do this command in the front tab then only you will get the projection to your model or else you won't get the projection like this so the projection has been done so we got the projections and uh, the lines which is flow along to our model so i'm just selecting all the lines which we get through the project command and now and now i'm going to use a planar surface so which will create a surface for the lines which we created in the project and now uh, with the same selection i'm just going to use pipe command so now we got this so the you cre we created a floor and we created some pipe for the further so okay we did this so now i'm just selecting the the plane uh, the surface which we created using planar surface command so the surface has been created so i'm just selecting all the surface which we create uh, so the selection i'm just going to select it again because i pressed the mouse button outside so it got unselected so i'm just doing it from the first sorry for it so i'm just selecting it again using pressing control for multi selection so this is a common command we use for every software like pressing control and using alt for copy in photoshop you can use this command also so this is a common command so now i'm going to use offset surface so offset surface i'm going to uh, press F that is it will flip the direction of the offset and then press enter so the offset so it gives a thickness for your surface which you create I didn't select this so I'm just doing it for this uh, individually so we got it 
so by mistake they created a two pipe so I am going to delete any one so I'm just create deleting one so we go with this so I am just bringing the surface that is unhiding this surface which I added so the surface has been uh, visible now so now I am going to use create UV command so create UV command is a command which I use often it will give you a uh, uh, under uh, unwrapped version of your model so whatever you draw in that rectangle will be placed after with that irregular surface so now I draw a diagonal line then I'm going to use linear array command again so linear array command so now I am using this uh, so I got a n number of lines so I don't want the lines which or oh, comes outside the box so I'm just deleting and trimming the lines so I just need a part of the line so I'm just copying it and uh, rearranging it according to it so I'm just uh, I'm just trimming the line so which I don't need that which I'm just trimming and editing the lines which is comes outside the box so I want the line to be exact in the box because whatever in the box it's going to be on the irregular surface right so I'm just selecting the lines and using pipe command so we created a pipe surface but when you see here the surface which we created it's and it's like hello so we want a solid surface so I'm using pipe command again so in this uh, cap use flat option change it to flat now when I create pipe command again you can see the edges have been closed and it's now a 3d solid okay so we need a solid so I just choose this so now I'm going to uh, select all the lines that is this unselect this lines and I'm going to delete the lines which I used to draw this pipe so I use the select curves layer command so now I'm going to uh, select all the lines. I mean all the 3d which I drawn but you can see the 3d so I am just drawing this line for reference so because the 3d was in between the surface I want to be at one side of the surface so I am just uh, selecting and just moving MOV move comma I am just using and just moved it up so that it will come over the surface not in between the surface I want it over the surface so now I create a planar surface for this so it gives you a surface now I am using flow along surface to flow this pipe on the irregular shape so it's asking for the elements to flow I'm just selecting the lines now it's asking for the base surface I'm giving this edge as a base surface that so you should select the edge and now I'm selecting the base edge of the targeted surface so edge so it is it works like the edge should be matched and when you see here oh the pipe which we use it comes inside I want it outside so nothing we are we are going to select the pipe and we want to bring it opposite side so I'm just selecting all the pipes and I'm selecting the surface so I'm going to use mirror okay so in this mirror when I use mirror I'm just giving a mirror in the right perspective now in this copy I press no so that you don't get a two copy so in this it's like it's a kind of it will act as a rotate tool so I'm just doing I'm just selecting again I'm so I'm just using the command called flow along surface again I'm just selecting base surface target surface now you got the uh, pipe on the outside of the surface so it's nice okay so I'm just using this model to do because I want to teach you the command and by doing a model which will make you interest which will bring your interest on the command and you won't remember the command while doing with the model so I'm just using cap to close the top and bottom so now I'm just using cage edit by selecting so a bounding box and now enter enter so it will give you a control points with a bounding box so you can adjust a control points which will adjust your model so I'm just twisting I'm just rotating I'm just selecting the top four I mean the top plane of control points and just twisting it um, Sorry, I don't want this much twist because the auto is on, so it has been twisted to 90. I don't want this much. I just want a little twist. Yeah, this is fine. Mm, yeah, this is fine. So, so I just selected 
the top control point and just twisting with the gumball okay so with this cage edit you can twist and you can re-edit all the surface so it is seriously nice and i'm just using control to unselect these points and just dragging these points up so it will give you a feel like this so it's been loading because it's a big model right so yeah this is the model which we needed so this is a skyscraper which i entered to model so i got it so just share your comments below the comment section about this video and just stay tuned because i'm going to post many videos like this and make you to learn rhino grasshopper in a simple mannerism thank you for watching the video have a nice day tata bye bye see you